this is a 1991 uh, Chevy G20 so I don't know if this is what engine is this not really familiar with this car it's a Chevy band G20 and the issue of this car it crank but no spark so I already removed the cover for this car so we could you know see uh, the engine I don't know what engine is this uh, we got two four six eight so V8 it's a V8 uh, engine so let's crank the car we'll start to let's confirm the issue and it's also low but oh, yeah it runs but it won't start again see that one more only crank but won't start so a quick uh, uh, history of this car this car has been parked underground of a condo for two years and the owner just uh, started once in a while but then two months ago uh, the car uh, won't start so he buy a new battery she keep on starting it but still it won't start it only crank so even though the battery is brand new now it's already a uh, low bat so it's confirmed yeah we confirm it crank no start so during me today uh, we're just gonna diagnose this car I might not gonna fix it if it's only the fuse then we can fix it but if it's something else then it's gonna be uh, another video uh, just we're just gonna do the diagnostic today because it's so cold right now okay let's do it so uh, the first thing that we need to check uh, on this kind of uh, issue uh, check for spark and check for fuel and then as you can see here we got like a very accessible for the uh, spark to check the spark this is your distributor cup then we can just crank it then let's see if there's a uh, uh, power in here a spark so let's start with the spark and then later on let's go on the uh, fuel okay let's crank the car and let's see for spark There you go. I saw some spark. The car is just lowered, but oh boy, it's low, but now. But I did see a spark. The first crank, I did see a spark. It needs a charge. The battery is super low. Let me check the battery. But I still, but I need, uh, I did see a spark in there. So now we got spark so the next thing that we need to check is fuel and I couldn't find any fuel uh, pressure port in here the only thing I see is this I think I need to remove this and install my adapter in there so that we could check for a uh, fuel fuel pressure right there so uh, let me figure it out how to put on my fuel pressure gauge all right I got already my fuel pressure gauge but unfortunately this thing 
this one it's stuck they did try to loosen it but I don't wanna like break it this is already a, an old car so probably haven't uh, uh, loosened for long period of time so I couldn't um, loosen it so I'm not gonna force it I don't wanna like break that fuel line so I will just leave it like that so if we can't uh, check the fuel uh, pressure uh, I will just gonna go on the fuses or relay for the fuel pump so uh, we already checked the the spark for the car and we do have spark and unfortunately uh, we couldn't uh, check the fuel uh, pressure for the car because the uh, we don't have a fuel uh, line port so i could uh, hook up my um fuel uh, pressure gauge but we could do a uh, fuse check or the relay so i had a wiring diagram in here so if you don't have uh, access for the wiring diagram uh, just go in google actually i uh, get this from from uh, from Google from internet so basically this is your uh, relay so as you can see in here this like a dark uh, green white that's the one who will give the signal so this is your ground so this is a positive or a power uh, controlled so this will engage and then there is a I think this one the orange one is uh, live or hot all the time so this this uh, wire positive so when this one is will engage this connection will will be connected in here so there will be like positive going all the way here this is I think gray going in here and then it will go into your fuel pump so that's your fuel pump sorry i don't know where this uh what's that there's a shadow in there what the heck oh, but anyway so it will go in here so this is your uh fuel pump so there's a negative in here and positive so that's the dark gray and also it goes somewhere in there and somewhere in there and then your fuel pump will engage okay if you will follow the other the continuation that orange one that's the orange so like that so the orange will came came from a fuse 15 amp so we'll just go check that so it's hot all the time okay so that's the orange one so it will be in here this solenoid will engage it's a positive uh, controlled and then it will connect it into here into gray and then the gray will go to your fuel pump then you will you will your fuel pump will engage so let's check for the uh the orange one and then the green one so this should be there should be a power on the orange and then there's also a power on the on the green green one when engine uh engine is on so let's do that so this is your fuel pump relay so I already unhook it. So this is your I hope you consider this is your yellow. So yellow one. It should be hot all the time. 
this one so let's check it so yellow so I'm just gonna be touch, touching it not spreading the terminal yellow one there you go light lit and then the green one this one so this is the green one so it need to be turn it let's turn on the the car so I'm just gonna put this one this very thin one so it's not gonna spread the terminal so I'll put it on the green with white this one uh, where's that this green with white that's your controlled and that's passive when you turn the key on so I'll put it here not gonna spreading the terminal and then hook it up here then this uh, this should light up when I turn on the car so I'm just gonna turn on but it will turn off after like few seconds so okay on and uh, let's do it again and I'm gonna check the camera so I couldn't see it on okay let me check the camera okay let me check the camera so okay uh, we did see light in here so all the uh, wire integrity is okay and one more test that we could do so we already uh, check the integ integrity of the wire and then it's okay everything is okay there is, is a red connection in here this is the bypass a wire so if you check it in here there is a fuel pump prime connector so that's the red one so this one if we put a positive in here so it will go directly to the fuel pump so the fuel pump will engage and what I did is I use this one so this is connected to your positive so positive so this will act as your fuse so this is already like live wire so if we touch in here so the light will the test light will light up so this is live so let's test it in here there should be a spark but as you can see no nope. I couldn't see it right there no no spark so meaning your fuel pump so there's no arcing your fuel pump is bad so this is supposed to be ground or negative so when you try to like touch it there should be a spark but no spark and then our test light won't light no not at all so we had a bad fuel pump fuel pump so what unfortunately fuel pump pump is located 
at the back. Alright, so let's summarize what we did. So we checked the orange wire. So it has a uh, it's hot all the time and then the green with the white uh, stripe only light up when the engine is on and then this one is the bypass wire so if we put positive in here uh, the the fuel pump will engage or will 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 work but unfortunately we didn't see any arcing any spark in here so we conclude that our fuel pump there is a uh, open circuit on the fuel pump so we are going to replace or change the fuel pump and the fuel pump is underneath the car somewhere in here so i won't be able to do it today just as you can see there's still some snow so yeah basically the problem is the fuel pump there is an open uh, circuit in fuel pump the wire this wire this should be a ground or a negative because there's a continuity on the uh, fuel pump side so if we put uh, let's let's do it uh, anyway we can still do that so let's put it on this put it on positive and then this should light up but as you can see no so there is an open circuit on the in here so there's an open circuit in here inside the fuel pump because this ground so ground will go here so this should be become ground all the way in here and then until positive wire one sec positive wire this positive wire will go in here so this will become positive and then the fuel pump will work all right so that's how you diagnose this car so fuel pump open circuit on the fuel pump so i'm gonna order some fuel pump and then i will be making uh, another video putting a fuel pump in this car so that's how you um diagnose a 1991 Chevy uh, G20 minivan uh, crank uh, no start problem so if you had any question any suggestion uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too that's all for today and see you on my next video bye, -bye.